Now it's time for your first quiz. What part haven't we covered yet in that 360 circle? What part is still vo slightly vulnerable? Perfect. What is it, Lauren? Your legs. Yes. And we haven't quite covered the legs. I don't want you to do this <laughs> and try and block. Okay? So what you want to be able to do is we're going to go to what's called, hey, what's the we're going to go to what's called a sprawl defense. All right, this is the fun part, because she's never done these with me. Okay? My wife's not here today, so I told her she's, she's jumping in. And she said, yes, sir, without even asking what we're doing. I love that. <laughs> okay? So she's done a lot of these defenses before, but they're not fresh, so we're going we're gonna to walk through them just like you're going to have to do. So now, in a sprawl or a sprawl defense, basically what's happening is the person's going to come in and they're going to try to take your legs. So in a slow for format, because we haven't practiced this and she doesn't know what to do, this is the scenario that you're trying to prevent yourself from ever happening. And I want to show it to you so you can kind of get a visual of what's going on. She doesn't know how to defend herself yet. <clears throat> All right, so what's going to happen is somebody comes in and they attack. And they're going to come in and they're going to take. Okay? And then they're going to come down. And now, where are we? Anybody not comfortable in this situation? Raise your hand. Okay? This is what we don't ever want to get to that stage. And that's why the sprawl or the, the 360 degree defense is going to keep you from that 90%. Our goal is that the sprawl defense is going to up that to about 93, 94%. We don't ever want to let somebody take you to the ground if at all possible. But we're also going to work on what happens if sometimes you find yourself there. You get pushed, you get knocked down, you're asleep in your bed, somebody's broken into the house, you name it. Those are basically some of the things that can happen. Now, what we're going to do is to prevent that, she's going to sprawl. So, for simplicity's sake, we're going to switch roles. Don't hurt me. <laughs> okay? So, sprawl defense basically, sometimes it's a lot easier for men in general because it's basically a football tackle, which doesn't translate to a lot of women. Basically, somebody's going to come in, and when they try to tackle, they're going to try to come behind your legs, put their shoulder into your hip so that I can grab and take her down. And that's ideally what I want you to be able to get to that stage. We're not going to tackle each other today. I know you're disappointed. Yeah, I hit Jamie. All right? But the idea is what I want you to be able to do is bend over, walk forwards, be able to put your shoulder on the person's hip and touch their legs. If you can get to that stage, <coughs> defender's in trouble. That's the stage that we're going to try to prevent. Okay, and that's where the term sprawl comes in. What's going to happen now is she's the attacker, since I know the defense. She's going to come in and try to tackle. You're going to take your hands, and you're just going to push on the shoulder and sprawl. Okay. Sprawling is spreading your legs out as far as you can without falling, going to your stomach to make sure you pull out of the way. Now, normally what will happen in a lot of instances, if she comes in to tackle, you go, stop. Stop it. <laughs> uh, can't we just talk about this? <laughs> right? And now you're trying to process what's going on. Okay? That's what women do. You process. Hey, last seminar. What are men? Come on, pop quiz. It's been like nine months. What makes us stupid? Testosterone. Testosterone. <laughs> My ladies know, we talk about it all the time. We have testosterone, it makes us really dumb. <laughs> and you'll hear that several times today. But the same process, women try to process and think through the situation without action. I need to think about this so that I can act or react the way I want to. You don't have that type of time in this situation. So what we want is, you're just minding your own business. Okay? Normally somebody's not just going to walk up and go hide and try and tackle you. So what we want to do is take it up a notch that something's going on. You don't feel comfortable, so your first position should always be this. You always want your hands up. Okay? Number two, always make yourself a smaller target. Whatever side you feel more comfortable stepping back is fine. It doesn't matter. There isn't an advantage to one side or the other other than your comfort level. Okay? So as I step back, now we're set. She comes in again. We're going to go nice and slow because it's the first time you've done it. She bends over to get to my hip. As she comes in, I hit and I push. Okay, the key is sprawl. Push the legs back to get them out of the way. If she grabs, she's going to grab nothing but air. If you try to stop the person, you will fail. Okay, your arms are going to cave in and their weight and momentum is going to carry forwards. What works with this is think of your arms as a spring. The harder she attacks, the harder I'm going to bounce because I'm using her energy along with my strength. 
All right, that's the key. So it's not a matter of, that's not a sprawl. That's a process. You're trying to think of it. I'm supposed to do this, and then I'm supposed to do that. That's generally how women will process. We want to get to that stage where she comes in, it's a reaction. Okay? Even if you slid, slide off like I just did in that, she's got her hair down, so we've got a slippery surface. That's going to happen. You have to deal with it. That's why it's a hit and move. If the person's able to get a leg, so she comes in, boom, well, I'll deal with that more, or this is better, than if she had both legs. This is, we're going to the ground. There's nothing I'm going to do. This is, eh, okay, plan B, and then we'll go to something else. Perfect is, she swipes, there's nothing there. And this is what we're striving for with how many repetitions? I love women, you guys listen. Awesome. Okay, so same thing. You'll be facing your partner. Make sure one person's in the circle, one person's facing out, so you don't run into anybody next to you. And just nice and easy, go in at about half speed and try and grab the leg. Okay, good, and time. All right, perfect. This is exactly what we're saying. What we're trying to do now is you're, you're presenting situations from your experience, which is what makes this the best possible situation or scenario, right? As I see things that we want to fix, then we're going to correct them, all right? Number one, for the bad guy, as you tackle, all right, again, like I said, I realize you guys aren't tacklers, right? <laughs> but you're not going to come in this way. But again, what I want you to do is bend over so that your shoulder is at their belly button so you can come in this way. Then she could grab and push, okay? So if you're coming in this way, that one's easy. <laughs> All right, if somebody's coming in and down, you take your palm and you just pop them right in the face, yeah. which we'll get to in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no practicing on your husband. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> so again, first step is going to be make sure it's bend over, get your shoulder to the belly button, kind of think like a bowl. <laughs> and then from here, you're going to come straight in. Number two, you need to teach yourself to relax, which again comes from 10,000 repetitions, right? Right now, what I start seeing happening is, is you're, you're forcing yourself to relax. She's the bad guy. She comes in to tackle, and you go, <laughs> force the air out. You've got to breathe. As the person is attacking, Breathe. Got to get that oxygen going so that you don't tense up. Once you stop breathing, your chest locks up, your lungs lock up, uh -huh. arms are going to lock up, legs will lock up. Okay, so you want to be able to... So, number one, bend first, come straight at them. Number two, breathe through the technique. That's part number three. Use, again, use your arms as a shock, absor a shock absorber. So what I don't want is here and have the person run into your hands. Your hands are bent. So as you make contact, you extend and push. That will slow them down or stop them, and it will create more distance for you. Okay? Five minutes, and we move on to the cooler stuff. Okay. Okay.